Hello everyone. I know it has been quite some time since I've gotten on and done a video and this is um completely impromptu. All right, it's 11:52 at night. I am brainstorming. Um it's almost on the eve of New Year's in 2018 and I as always, my brain is going. I mean, it goes the whole year, but at this point, it's like on overload because whenever you're working on a project or you have a vision or you have a purpose, you want to make sure that each and every year you're delivering on that and you're doing better than the previous year. And I'm um, doing 2017. Um, I, I made some great strides, but I also um, had a little downtime with SSC um, just because I wanted to sit still for a moment and really decide where we were going to go as a company. And I wanted to remember what our purpose was. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Dewana Golden and I'm the founder of Special Shades of Color Media Group. And before we were just Special Shades of Color, moving into 2018, we are a media group and we're going to primarily, we're going to primarily focus on video content, which was the foundation of what we did, what I did and started, which were simple video blogs. And we're also going to expand into some print um, because I think our stories need to be heard via video and in print. Um, I have a book that will be released this coming year and I will have an official video which launches and introduces you to the book. Uh, but right now, I just want to talk about where we're going. And um, even though it's late, even though I did not plan to do a video, when you are something in your spirit, something tells you you need to do a video, then it's time to do a video. Uh, as you know, let me tell you, CJ is now 16 years old. And uh, we kind of had a lull with things. Uh, I mean, he quite honestly was pretty mellow. Um, but I'm seeing a few more things that I want to talk about in the upcoming year with CJ and really some things with me as a parent of a teen and what that's like and what the transition's like for from going, now don't get me wrong, CJ still needs a lot of help, but to be his parent when he was an infant and toddler, to be his parent during elementary years and being his parent at, in the teenage years is completely different. Uh, and almost you feel like, I don't know, and this is just me, like I said, it's my, my story, that um, in a way he's made his little cocoon as a teen, like a typical teen. He doesn't really want to be bothered much. And um, so I'm like, what's my purpose? What can I do? What can I do to feel like I am being his parent, his mother to a hundred percent of my ability now that he's a teen and you know, he doesn't need all of the assistance that he needed before. He can eat regular food now. I mean, he just eats a lot, but he can eat regular food. Um, you know, a lot of things that he, he doesn't need from me at this point, even though his developmental level is pretty low um, for his age, he needs his boundaries, right? He has these things and I have to respect his boundaries as long as he's getting his daily needs met. And so I want to talk more about that in the upcoming year. But I also want to go into doing more videos about the day in the life, almost like you are eavesdropping on someone or you're watching their life unfold in, in action. And I want to do a broad spectrum of parents like I've always wanted to do. I want a broad spectrum of parents doing different things, using different methods and techniques 
and I want to show that in a different light. And so we're going to do that. We're going to bring you the video blogs that I do that are, like I said, transparent, authentic, not filtered at all. But we're also going to do the highly uh, professional grade videos of the day in the life of other special needs parents. And we're going to talk about a myriad of topics and just deliver more content in a more aggressive way um, because I think we need to feed the souls of special needs parents. And we have to tell others, our family and friends, what life is truly like. Not the fake facade of smiling every day and saying, oh, I'm okay, everything's okay. Um, not that fake facade. You know, if you know me, I'm not about that. If you are connected to me personally on social media, you know, I tell all kinds of stories about my life that aren't pretty all the time um, because I think it will help someone in the long run so they don't feel so alone. So I want to tell the real deal, want other parents, and there are a lot of other brave parents who want to tell and show what their life is like so that others can gain an understanding, but also it gives a a twofold benefit of giving parents a release, right? That self-care component, that mental wellness component of venting, releasing, just goes back to our original goal, you know? And uh, even our business structure will change so we won't be a nonprofit anymore. Um, so I just wanna let you guys know that because I really wanna go back to the root and the foundation of what we're trying to do. And I want to keep that in mind. I mean, it's going to be very focused. And I, I just look forward to sharing with you in the new year. You know, it's it's funny how things hit me at certain times and certain times of the day, typically at night. And so I figured, hey, why not record a video? It doesn't have to be in the daytime. doesn't have to be where it's a beautiful background or anything like this. You know, it it, it doesn't matter just share, continue to share your heart. And that's what I want to do. And so I hope that you continue to follow us on this journey. I hope that you continue to share. I want you to share. We're working on updating the website. So look out for that as well. A whole bunch of different things going on. And I am truly so excited to share this journey with you. You are our community. You know, it's not just this corporation or small business or media company that's far removed. This is run and operated by a special needs parent. And those that sew into us, and a lot of times I try to select even vendors or, you know, photographers or things like that that are from our special needs community. So if you have a gift that you can share with us, um, in terms of your professional skill sets and your special needs parent, let me know. Inbox me at info at specialshadesofcolor.org and I will get back to you because that's what I want to do. I want to share our lives, build a community of support so that we know we are not alone. So I look forward to 2018. Come rock with us. Come ride with us on this journey and we are so happy you're with us.